the whole litter are getting together. You're like a teenager in a puppy's body. It's been over a year since I've been to Primark. Not in the best mood right now. I've hit the phase of adulthood where practicality is priority. Happily ever after. Good morning. Today is actually Sunday and today is the most exciting day of my life. <laughs> Just kidding, but it is a very exciting day. I've been looking forward to today for almost a year now. So me and my family are going to Newmarket, I think it's near Cambridge, to go and meet all of Sonny's brothers and sisters. The whole litter are getting together. We've stayed in contact since we got all the puppies, since we brought them home. We've got a little group chat on WhatsApp. We all brought them home on the 20th. 7th of June so since then we've spoken pretty much every week it was like daily at first when we brought them all home we've spoken about the puppies we've like given each other advice on food and the different habits and things like that and we really wanted to meet up for their first birthday which was the 3rd of May but because of all the restrictions obviously we've had to postpone it but now we're allowed to all get together outside it's a really lovely day weather wise which is fab so we're all going to Cambridge today. That was kind of like in the middle of all of us, which is about an hour and a half from me. One of the puppy owners, Fiona, lives in Cambridge and she's hosting it for us. So we're all going to Fiona's garden and we're basically gonna let all the dogs play together. I'm so interested to see whether the dogs remember each other. And also, Sunny tends to get a bit overwhelmed with other dogs, but I'm hoping that'll be different because she'll recognize that they're her family. There are three girls and three boys in total. Let's get going on the road trip to Cambridge. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't. Stop, I won't slow down Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care cause I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah And I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up Hello everyone I'm not sure why I'm sat like I'm a guest on the Jonathan Ross show, but here we are on a Monday morning. You will have seen the footage of it just now, but yesterday was honestly the most wholesome, lovely, definitely my favourite day of this year so far kind of day. It was so lovely. It kind of went as I expected, like Sunny was a little bit, not nervous, but she was a bit hesitant. She's definitely still the most shy one of the litter. When we went to view them when she was four weeks old, she was always the one kind of like on her own in the pack, bless her. Obviously she still like interacted with her litter when she was tiny, but she was definitely the most timid one and that's still the case <laughs> probably a mixture of just what she's like and the fact that she is our first dog so we do baby her a lot and i'm very aware of that whereas some of the other litter mates have got doggy siblings of their own like one of them lives with a labrador one of them's got a little cocker spaniel sister so yeah sunny's probably not as well socialized as some of the other dogs but saying that, she definitely found her confidence as the day progressed and she was playing with her brothers and sisters. She especially loved her brother, Chester. 
litter and he's the biggest of the litter bearing in mind Sonny's one of the smallest um I don't know why they just seemed to really love playing together we weren't really sure whether they remembered each other or not although they did interact differently with little Leah who was the cocker spaniel that obviously isn't part of the litter they definitely interacted differently with her than the rest of the litter so that makes me think maybe but yeah I don't really know but they loved it anyway they all had a lot of fun and it was so lovely to meet the other owners after talking to each other for almost a year it was really nice to put some faces to the names anyway best day of the year over back to reality this morning got my shorts on today because it is a lovely day outside today I'm having a little photo vibe kind of day I had to take some headshots this morning for my management they're updating their website so they needed a newer picture and I'm trying to be on an Instagram roll I've got a few different outfits out let me show you okay well this looks a merry old mess definitely didn't just chuck my clothes on the bed when I got changed <laughs> but I've got some spring vibes here obviously my neutrals as always and I've got some cute little photo ideas planned there's one particular girl I follow on TikTok and she does like loads of photo hacks and Instagram pose ideas and stuff like that so I'll leave her TikTok on screen here if you want to get your summer feed up to scratch she is the girl to follow she gives the best advice and she always uses a self timer so she takes the pictures by herself not gonna lie guys not in the best mood right now I've just cooked dinner Sunny was barking outside the whole time it's a very simple dish I don't know what came over me I just feel very stressed about it but it's done and tonight i present to you herbie burgers with potato wedgies and something tomato salad except i don't like tomatoes so only my dad has got that and instead me and my mum have got the burgers with the wedgies and homemade coleslaw hello everyone so it's now tuesday it's actually half past one in the afternoon so this morning i had training as usual with sunny um, and now mum and I have come over to Chelmsford, we're literally just arriving because we haven't been to Primark since before lockdown. Woohoo! It's been over a year since we've been to Primark, I think anyway. We both need some little bits and bobs like socks and things like that, but I know we're probably both going to get some clothes as well. We'll see what they've got, I might even do a Primark haul if it warrants one. this sunset tonight guys how beautiful is that I'm just out on the dog walk in my fields but looking at this i feel so lucky to live where i live to do the job i do to be able to come out for an evening walk when the sun's setting come out to this big open field i'm just feeling very grateful for a lot of things right now don't know why i'm so in my fields just about the sunset it's a burning ball of gas han move on and here comes my little puppy in the sunset good girl that yummy yum 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 are you good girl yeah oh she give you guys a kiss you're so sweet come on then let's go let's keep walking off she goes into the sunset happily ever after i would like to document this this is a real i've hit the phase of adulthood where practicality is priority kind of moment. I went to Primark today. I was just about to film a Primark haul. It's the evening right now. The car alarm started going off when I was about 10 minutes in and I thought this is going to be it. I just know it. About five minutes after that, my camera battery starts flashing. I changed the battery. That one's dead too. So I'm abandoning everything today. But I did go to Primark this morning and I also popped into TK Maxx because I find that TK Maxx have a really good bag selection. They've always got coach bags in there. It's where I got my little red coach bag from. Honestly, cannot rave about TK Maxx enough. And today, I found a backpack in there. I'm not a backpack kind of person. Never have been, other than in year seven when the backpack was like three times the size of me. Just don't think I suit a backpack. But, you all know what's coming? The dog. <laughs> Honestly though, having Sunny, this summer I really want to make the most of the weather with her. I want to go for picnics in the park with my family, with my friends. I want to take her to places and obviously when you've got a dog in the summer you have to make sure they're really well catered for so they don't get too hot. Of course I won't take her out at like midday when it's boiling. But early morning or evenings, that kind of jazz or if it's not too warm. I want to make the most of it. So I bought a couple of bits. This one's not from TK Maxx but on Amazon. Oh god. This is going to make me sound so old. I bought a cool bag. <laughs> this is for picnics, right? I'm thinking picnics in the park with my friends, taking the sausage rolls and the strawberries and just having a good old time. So this is the one I got from Amazon. It actually looks 
quite nice for a cool bag i have to say it's got the handles it's got the long strap inside it is massive this compartment at the front is for your cutlery this cool bag has brought me so much joy in the past 24 hours you wouldn't even believe so if it's done up to keep all your food cool but you think oh mate i could really do another sausage roll no worries it's got flap it's so good i'll leave a link to it down below in case anyone else is after some picnic adventures so that was a tangent what i'm saying is i want to do little days out this summer but i wanted a backpack really to carry like sunny's water some food for her if i need it treats for her her cool mat as well that's a big one that i want to be able to fit in the backpack toys leads poo bags everything else you need when you're a dog mum so i got this one from tk maxx i think it's really cute i love the color of it the brand is us polo Asin. never heard of it before but it's got adjustable straps of course the handles clip together it's got a little small zip pocket for all your small bits and bobs and it has the front compartment great for poo bags it was 30 pounds feels really lovely quality i have no idea what the original price is but i feel like it'd be quite expensive because it isn't nice good morning everyone the big fan has officially been cracked out so sorry if you can hear that in the um background i don't know if it'll be a little bit like windy it's currently keeping sunny cool here she is i haven't made my bed yet so please excuse that but she loves the fan big fan of the fan aren't you anyway it's actually friday this whole week i've felt so thrown off with the days i don't really know why but yesterday i had two messages telling me it was friday and it was thursday and that just confused my brain even more look who's just moved making herself comfy on my pillows that was never allowed yeah so that's my day confusion but i'm up i'm ready on this friday morning and hang on let me turn the fan off in case that is like making a windy noise sorry my love highly highly recommend this fan by the way for the summer i'll link it down below finally back to the story i've been watching alice thorpe while i've been getting ready alice is a good friend of mine and i've mentioned in these vlogs that i'm working with her for the harnesses she's a freelance graphic designer she is so good at what she does and i've always loved alice's vlogs i find them so interesting i love her homey vlogs i love her studio vlogs i'll link her channel down in the description i watch some of her graphic design videos but obviously i'm not really the target audience it's mostly for people who are really really into graphic design like learning to do it or trying to get some tips but since me and Alice have been working together on the harnesses I have become a little bit obsessed with her design videos because I love seeing how it's done and in one of her vlogs she just mentioned that she's working on some patterns and I was like oh my god that's me I felt like a little fangirl I was like she's talking about my harnesses so I've been watching Alice's design videos while I've been getting ready I just watched her one hour design challenge it's so interesting watching her work but today I think I think I'm going to film a couple of TikToks. I'm going to pop over to Southend. I've got a couple of bits from the Primark haul to return. I want to go into TK Maxx again because I forgot to look at the homeware section, like the little footstools and stuff. And obviously, I'm going to be renovating an entire office for the harness business. I feel like it's officially going ahead now. Like I'm there. I've had the first draft of the designs from Alice. I've given her my feedback. I've talked to the suppliers about costs. I made a really good meal for dinner last night. It didn't look very impressive, so I didn't film it. But it honestly, I think it's my favourite HelloFresh meal so far. If you get HelloFresh, you need to try this one. It was this one, the herby chicken with red onion mash and garlicky beans to die for. Like I'm going to be buying all of these ingredients to make this entire meal again. My whole family loved it. Get on the herby chicken. If you make my skin bad, I swear, Sonny, <laughs> I'm just joking. You can sit there for one morning. That's all right, but I'm not allowing it every day. I'm going to go and have my breakfast. Do you want your breakfast? No, leave me alone, Mum. You're like a teenager in a puppy's body. Hello. Come and say hello to everyone. You haven't said hello for a while. Who's that, Sonny? Look, she's trying to look out the window. You're so sweet. I love you. Although, she keeps eating cat poo in the garden. This Amazon box up here is because I've had to get one of those, um, you know, those like ultra high sound, whatever it is, to keep cats away. I had to order one of them because she's eating the cat poo. Like, oh, I don't even want to talk about it. It's so gross. I brushed her teeth twice yesterday. <laughs> So I've got to try and keep the cats out of our garden. But the problem is I can hear it, like the frequency. So it's a bit annoying. It's only like motion detected. So it's only when a cat is near it, it will go off. But Sunny doesn't seem to be able to hear it. I tested it with her to see if she would react. 
and she didn't at all. And I was like, babes, how is that not annoying you? It's annoying me. Today, I was going to pop over to South End, but I didn't in the end. I actually feel like I've had a productive homey day today. I've done a few worky bits. I've edited all of this vlog up to this point, but I've mostly spent my day tidying and cleaning. And I really enjoy those kind of days. I'm a bit weird. But it's now the evening. I'm just about to have dinner. We're having pasta bolognese tonight. Not made with pheasant. <laughs> not with fizzy. And then after dinner, we're actually going for a walk with my auntie. So the auntie that we've been doing weekly walks with we're going to her house her garden backs onto the woods so we're gonna go and walk through the woods because it'll be a bit cooler now for sunny and my cousin and her boyfriend are coming too and they're all coming to ours tomorrow for a barbecue and my other cousin is bringing her little french bulldog tomorrow sunny are we gonna see bella tomorrow <gasps> where's bella so yeah, quite a family orientated weekend for me, which will be nice. Sunday as well, going wedding dress shopping with my brother's fiance. Very, very excited about that. The lovely team over at Coco Pop very kindly sent Sunny a couple of new harnesses this week. How adorable are these? And can I just say, since I've started looking into this harness business, other little harness businesses have been so lovely, like so willing to help me and give me advice. And Coco Pop is one of them. So thank you very much to the team at Coco Pop. And these reversible harnesses are lovely. I love this tan colour. It's like a little bit dusky pink. And the reverse side has got all little safari animals. How adorable is that? I'm so chuffed with that. I think that's going to look so cute on Sunny. And this one is the little pink leopard one. I'm not sure of the exact names of these, but I'll leave them both linked down below. This one is also reversible. And on the other side, it's got little palm leaves. Thank you very much, guys. These are too cute. And I can feel on my skin Again into thought What are you doing? From within Today and not tomorrow Hello everyone. Oh, thank you. Hello. Oh, what can you smell? Just smelling my breath. Thanks. Hello, everyone. I feel like my hair looks really long today. Does it need cutting already? Potentially. Anyway, it's now Saturday, and today all my family are coming over for a barbecue. I say all my family. It's definitely not all my family. But my cousin, my auntie, my uncle, their little French bulldog, Bella, another one of my cousins and her boyfriend are coming over. So it's going to be a really lovely evening. I'm going to go and help my mum prepare all the food. Not going to lie, she's done most of it. But I'm going to do the last few touches while she's kind of getting ready. I've been working up until this point, but we're going to have a little social this evening. And I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to eat some good barbecue food. My family are the hosts of the barbecue all the time with all the friends and family because we just do it right. Not to brag. Not to blow our own trumpet, but we are the barbecue connoisseurs. This is the dress I've had on today. I am going to get changed before everyone arrives because I feel like this is going to be too cold to wear in the evening. But it was from Boohoo. I got it this week and I really like it. I like the double layered sleeves. I like the tiered detail. And I think the actual pattern is really sweet as well. So I'll leave this dress linked in the description down below just in case you like it. It's very cool and very floaty. Nice for a hot day like today. Okay guys, I am on bean salad duty. Um, I've got this really old recipe my mum's just given me. She's gone to have a shower, so let's make a bean salad together. The best ingredient in the bean salad. Job done. This is Bella. <laughs> Do you love Bella? <laughs> Almost. It's so funny how different they are. Hello. Oh, you're a pretty girl. How old is Bella, Katie? 11 months. 11 months. And she's about the same size as Sunny, actually, but she weighs more, doesn't she? Yeah, she's a big girl, 9.4 kilos. 9.4 kilos. I mean, that's still small for a Frenchie. What did I tell you guys? Barbecue, connoisseurs, you name it. Every element of a barbecue smashed it. I've just popped upstairs. It's 20 past 10 right now. Everybody's still here. My hay fever's so bad, so I've had to come and have a hay fever tablet. But I thought I would finish this vlog before I forget. I hope you enjoyed seeing all Sunny's little brothers and sisters. It honestly 
obviously it was the best day. I know the montage was quite long. Two minutes is a long time to watch some dogs run around, but to be honest, I didn't want to cut a lot out for my own memories, so I hope you enjoyed watching it too. Do subscribe to see my future videos. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday so far. Let me know in the comments down below what is the best thing that's happened to you this week. I would love to know and I will be replying to your comments. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.